How's it going, guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am very excited. Just finished my first week of my Redfin training. Training was awesome. We got so much education and understanding of the tools and how you can be as successful as you can be going into Redfin. I just have to say, man, I am so excited. I am so thankful and ready to go. Redfin is a great company, man. They're changing the game and they're doing things for realtors that just makes it to where you can do this job. You can focus on your craft and not have to worry about those monthly bills throughout your transaction. In this video, I'm going to go over three different charts that shows why Redfin just might be the best way to go as a new agent. I'm going to give this disclaimer. If you are a producing agent, you have deals, you, you have consistent clients, you have so much trust in this industry that you're producing enough to where you can do this full time on a yearly basis. You have a system, you have a set structure on how you're going about your real estate business. Perfectly fine. Do that. Stay in traditional real estate. But as a new agent, don't let an agent that's that's been in the game, that, that, that has the consistent clientele, tell you how you want to do things. You know, they're successful. They're there. They put in that time. They built that trust. They've gotten through the hard times of real estate for themselves. So you got to really take things on your own and make your own approach through it. So that's basically what I did. So these three different charts are going to show you exactly why it's probably great to just build your trust, why it's probably great to but these three charts, man, they're gonna show you exactly just the difference. They're gonna show you exactly the difference of what it's like being new agents in here as a traditional agent. Give it another disclaimer. I've been that new agent in traditional real estate. I've been that agent grinding, trying to get a deal. Um, and I just chose a different route. I chose to get a salary and still do what I love. So check out these charts, man. So the first chart, what we're gonna talk about is the sales value per agent. The most commonly accepted method of evaluating and comparing the relative productivity of real estate agents is sales value. The total value of homes being sold during a period of time. This metric called production translate directly to income paid as commissions. The more revenue as agents generate, the more productive they are. The following chart looks at the 20 largest US brokerages by total sales value during 2019 ranked in order of average sales volume per agent on a per agent basis. Compass ranks near the top average agent production. Now this chart that I'm reading and that we're going over is some is research that I found on my own. It's research that I've done finding out about Redfin before I joined it. And I just decided to do these videos on these charts. So as you guys can see on this chart, Redfin sits at the top when it comes to sales value. Redfin are in high market places. Where I'm at working Redfin, I'm in Oakland. The average home for sale in Oakland is a million dollars. So you tap into a market that has high, very high sales value, and that's just, it taps you into a different type of clientele, and th that's just phenomenal. I think that's phenomenal for new agents. The next thing is Redfin, they're gonna give you a consistent flow of clientele. Let me tell you, a consistent flow of clientele. So even, boom, this week, you have this client, they fall out, whatever, you have consistency. That was the issue that I didn't have in my own traditional real estate is, bam, found the client, worked hard, got the deal done, but I just didn't have that keep coming. I didn't have that continuously, and Redfin, Right off the bat, they said that they're gonna send me three clients a week, about over 15 clients a month. Can you imagine what you can do with that? If you are an agent that genuinely has passion in helping people and guiding people through real estate, can you imagine what you can do with 15 clients a month? And I'm not just saying 15 random whatever clients. Redfin has the website that not only you can book tours, not only you can request for agents, but you can get pre-approved through this website. There's so many things that Redfin comes with that just supports you through this process as a new agent. 
some things you just don't know, some things you're just not comfortable with, and Redfin just has that support there for you. Like it says in the article, more money, more production. When you have that consistent amount of income, your gas is paid for. You don't, you get paid per showing, you get paid for going to inspections. When you have that income and you have that flexibility, it makes it so much better for you and the client. You don't have the urgency of like, oh man, I gotta pay for gas, I gotta pay for this. You know, you, you, if you know that person's not gonna get this home, you, you know, your customer service go down just a little bit. And I'm glad that Redfin won't do that for me. My showings, inspections, gas will all be paid for before the transaction is closed. Now, of course, in traditional real estate, you're gonna see so much more larger commissions. In Redfin, you're not. I'm gonna be completely honest, they don't have these high, large commissions because they pay you up front. It's, kind of, it's a balanced kind of thing. But if you're a new agent and you don't have the clientele, you don't have the, the experience, you don't have the work, Redfin does all that for you. They're gonna train you, they're gonna get you prepared to do the job, and then they're gonna give you the work, and then you don't ever have to prospect, you don't ever have to spend your own money, they pay for your own MLS. I mean, what more, you know, what more do I have to say, man? And I'm not saying this is what you do forever, right? Just like me, I'm trying to use this as a stepping stone. I realize that I haven't built enough trust with people for them to say, hey, that's my guy, <laughs> you know? So, so that's just what it's primarily about, building that trust, and Redfin is gonna give you enough clients for you to do that. That's why I joined, that's why I'm here. And it's just awesome, they're gonna pay you a salary to do what you enjoy. All these things that I was doing was for free. Showing homes, going to inspections, keeping a, keeping in contact with clientele, keeping them update with everything, all that is free until you close. And I'm just so thankful that I have a salary in between all of that. Now I can 100% focus on the job. The next chart that I wanna talk about is the transactions per agent. Now the transactions per agent is the amount of transactions. So if you represent a buyer, you represent one seller, that's one transaction. And if you represent both a seller and a buyer, that's two transactions. So on this one, the transactions, the number, the number of transactions that agent closes in a year is another measure of agent pro productivity. One could argue that a more efficient agent supported by technology would be able to close more deals faster. The following chart looks at 20 different largest US brokerages based on the total transaction count ranked by the average number of transactions closed per agent Redfin. Uh, transaction closed per agent. Redfin with a unique operating model employing salaried agents is the clear outlier. Compass is in the middle of the pack with an average of 7.4 7 transactions closed per agent in 2019. Look, it just says it right here. Supported by technology would be able to close more deals faster. But I really want to highlight this quote here. It says, one could argue that a more efficient agent supported by technology would be able to close more deals faster. And that's, that is 100% accurate. I mean, just look at the chart. I mean, you see how far more transactions per agent Redfin is producing. Because like I said, our search engine is next to Zillow, if not better. Zillow is a great search engine. You can get so many deals and clients from Zillow. It's amazing, but it costs $4,000 a month. And now I, that's just what I was quoted. I can't speak for anyone else, but Zillow is so expensive. The average agent, it's hard to keep up with that. And then another thing, they send you so much. You get, you do get so many leads. It's hard for you to really pick which, which is, which are the good leads. And it just, it becomes so much. You end up trying to give leads to other people and it just becomes a headache. Redfin search engine is completely yours. As a Redfin employee, it is yours. The search engine is all you. It comes to you. The requests for tours come to you. You're advertised through this website. I mean, they have partnered agents. They have, you know, agents that they take a piece of their commission with that they would refer. But if they didn't have an agent to cover a certain area before and they had someone else that they referred, who do you think they're gonna put on that area? You. I know my area is, is currently right now being referred to someone at EXP. 
But when I start and I'm live, and I'm live on the website, who do you think they're going to put there? So you get so many people that's going to be clicking on you, learning about you, wanting to know about you. It's a great opportunity for clientele. You're going to get the clientele because of the, the Redfin search engine. So many people visit the website and it's just picking up every year. The next thing is Redfin has a great support team. You're not always the, the person scheduled. You're not always the person scheduling the appointment. They have an entire team that does tour scheduling. It's crazy. You have a transaction coordinator, you have associate agents that are all under you to make sure that your clients is getting the best representation. If you can't make a showing, if you can't be somewhere for a specific reason, whether if it's pertaining to a job or a family emergency, there's associate agents there to take your place for those time of need. So dude, like I can't, I just can't express it enough how amazing this is. Redfin has tons of apps and tools. We have the agent tools app. We have the Redfin regular realtor app. Uh, we have the regular Redfin real estate app where you can search properties. I can send you properties. We can schedule tours together or someone else, uh, a part of the team will do that. We'll handle that. And it's just so amazing for, for new agents. And to wrap it all up and to wrap it all up, that's what's gonna make you stand out strong as a new agent. Redfin has the tools, they give you a support team, and they just give you a consistent flow of clientele. And they pay you a great salary. You get bonuses, you get so many opportunities in Redfin, and let's just be honest. We're just gonna be completely honest here. As a new agent, you have to get the work, you have to do so much before you see a deal. Redfin takes you away from that. It makes it just a little bit easier so you can let people know, hey, I'm a real estate agent, but I'm not like everyone else. And you still get paid for that. That was one of the hardest things that I had. You know, people put a, a, a bad name on real estate agents. You know, it's been a long time that people have fucked up, people have made mistakes, and people just made real estate agents look bad. And I think Redfin is making it completely a game changer for customers. Can you imagine a real estate agent that you that you come up to? They're not pushing for a commission. They're not worried about their next bills. They're taken care of. They are paid a, they're a paid employee. They have a set salary. They get paid for the showings that they're showing you. Can you imagine that type of customer service that you'll get from somebody? I know I'm so ready to share my type of customer service without that worry and that urgency of getting my next deal. I can really perform. I can really show my customer service expertise. And so I really hope if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe because this is the new wave of real estate for new agents. Like I said, if you are a, a, an agent that's killing it in traditional real estate, stay where you are. But if you're a new agent and you're just trying to find your way, this is a great way to do it. They have the tools, they have the clients, and they have the support team. But that's just it. I don't want to go any longer. I don't want to go any more crazy. This is just great for new agents, you know. Take advantage. If you really enjoy the work, if you really enjoy doing real estate, it's okay to get a salary. It's okay to start somewhere. It's okay to say, hey, I got to pay my bills. And I reference it's just a great start, man. You're going to make 100000 You're going to get that. That's, that's easy. You're going to make 100000 So if that's your first goal, why not take Redfin that's going to train you, not saying any other brokerages won't, but they're going to train you in a way that employees get trained. And that takes a little more care than your traditional brokerage. So if you guys like this video, again, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like and take it easy and just go hard at what you want to do.